All right, uh, today we're gonna learn about how we can take one of these uh, really bad spouts that you tend to get in the store that always seem to leak and are really hard to use. Um, they're really horrible. We've got lots of different uh, versions of them, such as uh, even the ones that you try to buy that are supposed to be easy pour, these don't work either because their gaskets are really bad and they don't really stay where they need to be or um, they have a hard time with uh, staying together. Look at how bad that is. This plastic is so weak and so cheap that all this stuff starts to leak. And so here's a bunch of different spouts that we've gone through and all of these seem to leak or are hard to use. Just, it's unusable. So we're gonna show you today about how you can make something new and different such as this on your own, where you can make this gas can spout that uh, not only is heavy duty and, uh, and can easily get a lot of gas out into whatever you wanna get it out into fast, um, but it's also tight and won't leak. So here we go. All right, first we're gonna look at what supplies you're gonna need. Uh, each supply by supply item. So first of all, the stainless steel hose clamp, 17, six, uh, 7 16 inch to one inch. It's a half inch bandwidth. You need one of those, or at least one of those for each, uh, each um, spout that you make. You're also gonna need this PVC end cap. It's a three quarter inch schedule 40 cap. Um, you're gonna need this Lasco fitting. This is a, a Mel adapter, three quarter inch. And it looks like this, it's threaded on one side and it's got the tapered on the other side. Um, then you're gonna need this PVC adapter. It goes from three quarter inch uh, threaded to a one inch sleeve. And just to get the adapter number, it is adapter, so 255281358. So you'll be able to find that Lowe's, Home Depot. And also, um, this is the uh, Plum Quick rubber adapter uh, so it's a one quarter inch by one quarter inch and um, you can find this at Lowe's and Home Depot as well and finally you're going to need some hose you can get uh, this hose at Home Depot or, or Lowe's but I actually just ordered it off Amazon because I wanted a bunch um, this is a three quarter inch on the inside and a one inch on the outside reinforced PVC hose so you'll need that for your spouts all right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get at least 12 to 13 inches of the tubing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut that. So we're measuring it now, and we get about 13 inches. So we're gonna take some shears. You can use scissors. These are just nice big shears, or you can use a, uh, a razor blade. We're basically just gonna come and, and chop this. All right, once we have our uh, 13 inches of tubing, we're gonna go ahead and um, grab the sleeve and put the PVC into the sleeve. So we've got the PVC adapter and we're gonna go ahead and put it into the rubber sleeve, like so. Uh, we are then going to use a small wrench or screwdriver and we are going to tighten uh, the connection. So it's nice and tight. Next, we are gonna open up the, uh, yes, that is the fitting, uh, the mill adapter. So we're gonna get that open and we're gonna screw it on. Now you can use uh, um, different uh, plumbing type stuff to make this connection. Uh, for right now, we're just gonna screw it on, but you can use the, uh, um, the Teflon tape as well um, if you wanna keep a nice uh, tight seal. Anyway, we're just going to screw that right on top of the adapter, like so, nice and snug. Okay, all right, next we are going to um, go ahead and put one side of the, um, the tubing and we're going to push down and force it on. So it is pretty tight. So you have to push down pretty hard, like so. All 
All right, we went ahead and uh, pushed the sleeve all the way on. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, put the uh, hose clamp on. So we're just gonna thread it through on the tube. It's a little bit too tight, so we're gonna loosen it. And then we'll thread it all along the tube. And then we'll tighten it up um, at the other end. Just like so. Okay, now with that tight, um, we're almost ready. We're gonna put the end cap on, the, uh, the end. This should fit snug. And now we're ready to go put it on to our gas can. All right, now we're ready to apply the new gas spout. So here's the old gas spout. And the old gas spout comes off really easy because it's broken. <laughs> and we are gonna put the new gas spout on. So simply uh, take the rubber adapter. Uh, and this is nice because it fits on uh, lots of different sizes. Uh, you can just basically push it on or make it snug. Anyway, just uh, basically push it on or twist it on. And then once it's on all the way, you're gonna go ahead and tighten it down and it'll make a nice seal so that it doesn't leak. And you're done. So now you get to go put uh, gas